welcome back to me and oxygen not included and a working electrolyzer which which doesn't have enough water in it but it works mostly sometimes keeps complaining about too much pressure so but it works like I said sometimes mainly that's the important things um, it's hooked up with nice clean water and that seems to be the magic trick to get it to work. I've had them working with contaminated water, but for whatever reason, they don't want to. Um, which leads us to a whole new power problem, because uh, 240 uh, to pump up bad water, then 120 to filter bad water. Well, technically the 240 is down here, but you get the picture. Uh, and then 120, and then 120 to make oxygen. So it's like 480 power to run one of these, but they don't, like, you need way more than two of these loops to run the generator. And you'd need about three from what I've been seeing, right? And then even with your 800, you know, you've got to add another 240 and another 120 to your whole setup to get this running, so... But we've got some hydrogen, so you can be re-enabled. Um, they've dug down, and somewhere along the line we had a water leak. So this water just moseyed on its way all the way down to here. And it's since disappeared from the looks of it. But that's fine. Um, we can do a new dupe. Mm, cooking six but he can't dig so that pretty much keeps them stuck in the base and fairly useless um, I don't want to take any way with minus learning so that leaves you strong you're st yeah let's go with your strong uh, and you can be <sighs> brainin which looks like a girl. Which is in a cute pudgy birds. Take out there. Looking for a, just a female or male anything? Okay, let's just go delivery um, cow. Because I reckon it's female. Um, or it's a bodybuilder, you know. I don't know. Somebody's going to make a comment and call me an ass. So let's just go with delivery cow. Just because I like really like cows or something. Jobs. The cow cannot cook. Cannot do art. Cannot do research. Yeah, we've only got two researchers. Um, and I'm actually take away... Digging. So their main job is just maintain everything in the base. Deliver stuff. You know, generate power. Run on the, the human-sized treadmill. Um, um, build stuff. Deliver stuff. We'll see how that goes. So, gas plumbing. Hydrogen power plant's going pretty good. Um which means these batteries are charging. We're still pumping this out, trying to get to the slime, trying to put in the slime builders. And going down does not look any better. At all. Um, that's carbon dioxide. Um, planters, 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 planters. Seeds. We've still got... Three Briarwood seeds, which are decoration seeds, which we can put nowhere. Nowhere works for me. Um, the other food ones, we've got 20 off, but they keep getting used in these. So I think we'll leave that. Um, but in the meantime, I don't know. Let's dig into here. 
and then we're going to have to go around more because I don't want to battle it out with Morb. That and the hydrogen will get stuck in here. Now, if it was going to float all the way through, I wouldn't mind, but... Uh, the cook is now an athlete level 7 because I'm making run up a bazillion stairs. This is very long, I've noticed. We're just going up and down. Let's try east. And it's nap time. Um, let's try some sandstone steps in here to make him run a bit faster. Can't make him run up and down stairs any faster. Um, and let's also try... What have we got stuck up? Contaminated oxygen. That's not good. Let's put an air scrubber right here in the corner. Now. First thing in the morning, that's what they're going to do. Try and clear up that contaminated oxygen. Because basically, carbon dioxide sits at the bottom. Bring that back up. Carbon dioxide sits down here. Then it's generally the contaminated oxygen. Um, it's just a little bit put off by this, which occasionally runs. So then contaminated oxygen. Then oxygen. Uh, and then um, hydrogen at the top. Um, and this chlorine tends to sit between the carbon dioxide and the contaminated oxygen. But there's just there's no way to deal with it. At least carbon dioxide, I can build an air scrubber and get rid of it. But yeah, the the the, the chlorine there's just there's nothing you can do about it. I said nine. First thing, get that done. They'll build some paths so we can move a bit faster. You're still going down. More ladder. Down to here. Now, so this I could punch through to let that water drain into here. What's that? Oh, it's a puff. Which is not meant to be in the water. So puffers eat contaminant oxygen and put out oxygen. So they're really handy to have, but they can't live in anything but these two gases. If they hit carbon dioxide, they die instantly. Or hydrogen, or chlorine, anything else. Uh, insufficient resources, yeah. Not enough oxygen generation. Yeah, that doesn't look healthy. Um... Max gas pressure, max gas pressure. Okay, so let's go plumbing, gas pipe. Now let's have the gas pipe right. Put a gas vent in here. Um, yeah, gas pressure. So these two are saying max gas pressure, which means they're not running all the time. But, you know, I can't get rid of the gases any faster. They're all flowing up naturally, and then this keeps saying pump in not in gas, because it sucked up all its local air. You're now running. Um, that'll at least pump the gases lower. Not that we're short of pressure down lower, but try anything. Once or twice. Now I could punch her into this. The chlorine will stay down here. All this hydrogen will flow out. So let's go like that. We'll even put a six on it. Just so it's done. 
Yeah, you just produce the food right on the ground. Let it sit there. It's all good. Alright. Gas overlay. So now it's going to pump half the air, oxygen, down here. Next thing I'm going to do is probably start opening this out, just to give it a bit more area. But we'll get this hydrogen, which will then feed, I don't know, a bit of everything, a bit of everything into the mix. You're still going down. Okay, so now, over here, let's go, let's dig that out, let's put some tiles along here, and we might as well just start here. So come down to here and then see what we can see. <coughs> Alright, speed up game time. This obsidian and granite, which is really hard to dig through. We're not researching anything, but there's not really the mesh tile. I wouldn't mind a mesh tile. Alright, let's do that. We should straight away take up two of them, they'll be flat out doing that stuff. So that lets our hydrogen out, and unfortunately, our oxygen and other stuff will come in. But that's fine. As long as the chlorine stays down the bottom, I don't mind. I don't want to put a gas pump in just to pump it out. That's just ridiculous. Uh, let me keep pressure. Do I want to keep pressure? No. Got some water dripping from here. Oh, Ugh. priority nine. Patch that hole. And rip up this bed. Quick. Seriously, patch the hole. And then rip out the bed. Rip out the bed. Rip out the bed. Quick. Oh, you idiots. Minus is up here eating away. Not a care in the world. Come on, if you rip up the bed, it means I can put a block in to like, stop the water. Ah, oh. Yeah, like I said, pressure pop. Skill increase. Delivery cows down athlete two. I oh, hit, hit, hit disable, not deconstruct. That's where the whole issue was. And put a block in. Now. Now, now. Done. Hmm. Building flooded. Okay, so the only way I can get rid of this water is by using it. So if I turn U to 7 and turn you on at 7. You both use water, which will hopefully come from here. And it's not. <sighs> OK, 
okay, let's just block that off entirely. And then you don't have a choice. We've got... Minor 2 is now a higher athlete as well. Because they're having to run further and further. Okay, so now with that blocked off... You're getting water. And bringing it to you. Excellent. Like, there's kilos and kilos of water to go, but, you know... Progress is progress. Alright, we got some contaminated oxygen down here. Which... Bugger, I just put it at ground level. Oh! You have slime! Which makes contaminated oxygen. Slime's meant to be stored elsewhere. Storage container. It's going slowly. Slowly. It's funny at speed three, these guys go so fast. Organic. So you just store the slime. You organic. Ah. No slime. Slime. Sleepy. Because, yes, yeah, slime puts out contaminated oxygen. So let's put it down here. We've already got a couple of scrubbers to take care of it. Alright. Slow game time down. Let's see where we are. Flooded beds. Do they sleep in flooded beds? I don't see anybody sleep on the floor. Oh, and again, fell in. Arr! It's alright, we'll join that one, we'll join that one, and we'll pump it out from here. That's the answer. Oh, we're out of power. Because nobody bothered to... No? There's power in the coal generator, we're just not making enough. Alright, disable building again. We shall turn that one off, or we'll turn that one off. And that's about all we can do. Yes. You know, this hydrogen will slowly make its way up, which will then will be good. You guys are slowly pulling up the water and feeding them into the machines. We're making lots of food. We got research going. Uh, harvest, you lot, and you lot. We've done research. No. We've done one or two machines of research. Um, let's dig those two out. And let's dig you three out. Yeah. You can reach all those. see any good things. You know, a giant pocket of hydrogen we can hit. And just let it vent up slowly. Again, it'll get captured here. Well, we could come across and join the two and that way it'd vent. <gasps> and there's some algae in there. Yeah, come across here. So, punch of that, let it vent up. Punch of this one up as high as possible, obviously. So let it vent up and then let it vent across that way. Thing is, gases move clockwise. 
They move to the right fast, they move to the left. Much faster. In fact, they've been known to get stuck. We've got a power problem. So, put the hamster wheels up to five. Let's see how many hamsters we can get on there. We've got scientists is also faster now because you know I'm mean and make them run everywhere. Oh, I don't even know whether we're going to get you to go at all. The spores. We've got a disease. Remedies none. So the backup cook has the spores by standing in a toxic area, which would probably be where he's cooking. So, uh, and a backup cook has zero stress. Otherwise, I'll get you to lay down on the stress table. Alright, bad luck. What we'll do, so just do that, just to let it vent a little bit better. I don't know if it's better. But research is complete. So that's freed up two little guys to go work on other stuff. Oh, when we've got a new tube. Do I want a tenth one? I've got a bed for you. Two, four, six, eight, nine. No. Two, four, six, eight, nine. But your bed's on the side. So I obviously have one of them sleeping somewhere else, entirely, and I have enough room maybe for a tenth. Um, oh, I could have a digger who doesn't get sick, which would be handy because we're now digging through toxic. I could... Get a medical fast person, or I could get somebody who builds stuff. Let's go with a digger. So let's go with miner. Don't die, because hopefully this miner is naturally robust and won't die. Hopefully. Um, and I think that's what I'll call it for another one. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you subscribe. Hope maybe you've learned a little something about the game. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.